morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. Um, starting today, or this week off actually, with Stardew Valley. I know we didn't get to do it last week, so you know we here, because you know he's out of town. Oh, hi, bro fairy, thank you for coming in. Thank you for lurking. Um, yeah, so continuing off, this is, I believe, week three of winter. So I think this week we're probably just going to focus on grinding money, you know, fishing, getting that bag. So yeah, we are trying something slightly new today. I posted, um, I'm trying something new on TikTok too. I kind of want to try to do like go live videos on TikTok, see how that algorithm works and see if anyone comes in from there. I don't know how successful it'll be, but if anyone's from TikTok, you know, say hi. I don't know why I did the peace sign. But I have a random question generator here on the bottom. Just to like, I know Sturdy Valley is a bit more chill, not much talking. So this is kind of to get me more used to like, you know, keep going, keep talking. Make my voice go hoarse, you know? So I have like... I don't know how many questions are on this website, but you know, we'll, we'll try it out today. So like, I'm gonna use the questions if there's like dead air. So that's the plan for today. Let's get started. I know last week we had the um, two weekly mission to get two dozen eggs, which we should be on track for. So we should be able to start a new weekly mission today. So I have to remember to go check on it today. Okay, different kind of geodes, we know that, we're pros. Okay. Oh, I should- I should wait until we check the weekly mission before we do anything. Bad habit that I have. Okay, we do have feed. Let's go check the weekly missions. This should be something new, because it is Monday. And we did get a boatload of the winter seeds started last time we played. So I don't think we need to plan anymore, because I believe they do take six or seven days to grow? I am not sure. I could look that up, but you know. <laughs> I don't want to cheat. I mean, looking up walkthroughs is not cheating, it's fine. But, you know. I try not to look up walkthroughs unless I absolutely need to. It just feels bad, man, you know? I think it'll be a lot easier to do the bug guts quest because the hardwood, since we don't have hardwood on our farm, you have to literally get wood every day. And I know the last time I tried this mission, I forgot to do that. So we're going to do the bug mission this week. That way we can just grind um, in the mines. Yeah, it's only 7 o'clock. I can't go in the store. I don't think I need anything anyway. Okay, we can go ahead and start the questions now. What is something you never seem to finish? I have jokes, but we're gonna keep it PG-13, so I'm not gonna say that one. Um, anyway. I think... I have the, like, mindset of an ambitious person, but, like... I'm real. I really like planning things. Like, when I think of, like, a new art project or a new, like, endeavor, I love planning everything out. But it's just the execution that I can never, I guess, commit to, I would say. Yeah, we're just looking for geodes and then the flying bug monsters here. Or actually, actually, a better place to get the bug guts is in... Not the lower levels of the first mine types, but it's like level 20, I think, is when you start getting the little maggot dudes. Like, I think right now... Not saying, I was gonna quit streaming, ooh! But I've been streaming since about August, and it's going alright. Like, I'm not too concerned. Like, I don't- I'm not too concerned about getting monetization. monetization. It'd be cool, but you know, it'd be pog. I think... With this specific project, because I see it as a project, I don't see it as like a full-time thing. I know I could be like going into, I guess, baiting content more. I could be cross-posting more, but I just feel certain type of content where you can get exposure, it just seems too baity, I guess. Because I think... In order to be successful on Twitch, you have to have, like, a genuine personality. You can't be, like, too fake. That's my take. 
that's why like i know on tiktok you can pop off if you do like the trendy stuff or like use the sounds but that's just not like who i am like the way i see it if i started doing that then i wouldn't be i guess genuine to like how i see myself and that's just my take on it and plus it's cringe it's cringe <laughs> i mean it's good content like i i fall into that trap where like They'll be like smaller because like my TikTok feeds right now because I have like a personal account and then I have like my Twitch clips account exclamation clips in the chat it'll link you to my my YouTube and then my TikTok account that I started a couple weeks ago. What was I saying? I literally forgot what I was gonna say. But I I I know, okay I know where it is. Like I like the content or okay where they're like ooh. Let's make friends. Let's build a community. And then you go to their Twitch profile and then you follow. Like, I fall for that every time because, like, not that I feel bad, but I just, I really like seeing people grow. I know for me, on um, the type of content I consume, I am unmuted. I freaked out for a second. I thought I forgot to press unmute, but we are fine. We are a okay. Um. I forgot the tangent I was on. I was completely, I psyched myself out about my microphone but see like this is why like i'm a rambling like i can keep talking if i'm in the mood to talk and i haven't streamed since friday so like i haven't gotten like the jitters out and also i was just really excited for this idea because i'm trying something new this week as i said earlier i'm trying to post like go live stuff on tiktok to see how that algorithm affects and see if anyone comes in from there which would be pop which would be cool um Oh yeah, but when they're like, oh go, like, check on my channel, I want new friends, and I'm like, I always fall for it, because like, as I said before, I like seeing people grow, and it's really nice, because, oh, I was talking about what streams I watch, I watch, <laughs> right now, actually, I have Hasan Abi in my headset, because like, I can listen to him talk all day, I, because like, talking about like, who got me onto Twitch, I think the first streamer that I like, um, religiously watched, let's say, was definitely Ludwig. Because he got me, like, onto the platform. I guess. Like, because the Among Us phase. Like, I know it's cringe, but, like, I was really into, like, the Among Us shit. So that got me, like, onto the platform. And then, like, I was just a casual watcher, but then, maybe January would, because, like, I watched Hassan stuff before Jan the insurrection, but it's like I was aware of him, but I didn't like follow his account until the insurrection coverage because like I remember that day specifically um, I was at work and because that was East Coast at around 1 p.m. So at about um, like 10 to like 11 ish um, PSD because I'm on the West Coast and I remember because I was working food service at that time and it was happening during our lunch rest. So, like I didn't have time to like check my phone. And I took my break, like, an hour before my shift ended at, like, 1 or 2 p.m. It was at 2 p.m. It ended. I don't work there anymore, so don't stop me, okay? Um, and I remember seeing, like, the news headlines. And I was just like, what the fuck? And I remember, as I was biking home that day, because, like, I don't drive, so, like, I bike wherever I go or use the bus. Um, and I was just watching his stream because it was, it was crazy. Like, just the, like, lies news coverage of the insurrection. Insane. That it happened. I don't want to go too into depth. Like, I'm low-key a political Andy. I don't want debates. Not that many people are here to debate me, but, you know. <laughs> um, I hate... Because the whole debate culture, it's, like, people just want to win the argument. And it's, like, that's not... That's not what debate should be. It's, like, you should take in consider consideration all sides and, like actually form an opinion not win to win that's why like i used to like debates but now i'm just like that's not what like the meaning gets lost in arguments at that point but yeah that it was crazy and then like maybe june no before june like maybe mid spring is when I like, like got really into Twitch and like start started watching like non mainstream people. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know why I'm walking around. I should be focusing on getting the guts. And like, I'm indifferent about like subscribing to people because I'm a YouTube frog. Like, um, I was kind of late to the YouTube game. Like, I only was allowed to watch. Oh, the night market is open. Fuck, we gotta go do that. I totally forgot. We also have to make sure we visit our coops and get our eggs, because we still have that two-weekly mission. Anyway, so, like, I was a YouTube frog, so... Um, I'm used to, like, YouTube content, so it took a while to, like, understand, like, the culture of Twitch, in terms of, like, chatting and, like, the type of environment in a stream right i definitely like how there's like live reaction it's that's like the main takeaway from any live stream right um like i can't sit down and watch a stream it's very difficult like i have to be like doing something else i think the best way to equate it is kind of like how like middle-aged or older people will just have the tv on all day just for like white noise i guess i guess that's the best way or that's the main way that I consume Twitch content now. Like just having something like playing, I guess. Ooh! What is this? I've never seen this before. Like actually. Is that a rare fish? I'll take it. Ooh, that's cute. Okay. I think we'll just take that fish, because I really don't need anything else from here. And I, th I think we got the magic note. Maybe. I still don't know what that is. Oh, right here, right here. Okay. 1, 5, 4, 2, 3. I could write it down. I literally have a notebook right there to my left, but you know, we ain't gonna cheat. It's one. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Okay, I gotta wait. Enjoy the show, guys. Let's go. One, five, four. Okay, I think it was two, three. Yeah, let's go. Cool. I think I don't. Mm, I don't know if there's any mission to where you need the pearl. Like you can get one every. Nope. You can either get one a year or you get one just ever. So we might just hold on to it, because you know we're hoarders. Gotta keep everything. Oh! Oh, we're supposed to go fishing here! I, for I fucking forgot. Because <clears throat> you can get the rare, um, what you call it, the de deep sea fish here. Which I didn't know my first playthrough. Because I would go in here and be like, what is this? Like, actually, what is this? But then I looked up a walkthrough, I was like, oh, you're supposed to fish! Like, it didn't, like, click in my brain. That when those gates open, that you can fish in them. This is actually a Stardew Valley walkthrough stream.
We just have to make sure we're done fishing by probably 10.30. We didn't have much time today. I just have to remember for the rest of the week, for the next couple days, that we have to leave the mines early. Let's go! I used to hate the fishing mechanic, and then like I finally learned how to do it, and that was fun. Bro, I don't want fucking seaweed! Okay, let's go home. <clears throat> it's just funny just running into the door like an NPC. <laughs> You know, I got a book at home. Er yeah. If you drink the coffee, you run fast. And it's a free coffee. You love free shit. Oh, there we go. Now we're like Sanic. We're on the Sanic speed. I'm trying to think of like my favorite memes. <laughs> You also have like inside jokes with like your friends or your family and stuff. A really <laughs> funny inside joke we have now is when I go like this, like thumbs down. But I have like long ass like natural nails. I don't use acrylics, I just grow my nails out. And because of that, if I like clench my fist like that, like my nails stick into my wrist or my palm. And I don't like that. And my sister pointed it out to me. She's like, why are you doing that weird? You're supposed to like curl your fingers in. I was like, oh. I was like, because it hurts. And she's like, that looks stupid. So anytime you like make eye contact, I'll go like this just to like <laughs> annoy her and legit. Because that bit has been going on for two weeks and she's been laughing her ass off every time I do that. And it's really funny. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense to any y'all, but like a really good joke. <clears throat> Better animals, like good farmers. I don't want PETA to cancel me, so I gotta feed him, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put these in. Oh, it's geodes in here. I forgot I rearranged stuff. Oh, they won't fit. Mm. I'm trying to think of what else I can take out. No, okay. I hate when stuff doesn't fit, then you gotta rearrange your shit. Hashtag quarter problems. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna put them in here for now. You know, just shove shit in your random junk drawer. We're gonna do that for now. Okay, cool. So, since we have the weekly mission to get bug guts, we're probably just gonna focus on mining. And then... How much money do we have, actually? You know, 27k. I should probably... When... Uh, Robin's not at her shop today. Sucks. This sucks. Okay. Um. So tomorrow we can go upgrade either the barn or the coop. Or do I have them upgraded? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I I have the big barn. I think. I think I kind of want to get an auto feeder, or not an auto feeder, an auto collector pretty soon. Oh, I need to make sure I'm checking my shed because that's where my preserves are. I always forget. Because in my main save, I have my preserve jars um, right next to my farm, like my house. So like, I will never forget it. But since it's further to the left, it's a bit out of place for me so I can easily walk past it.
We could just keep that in there and sell those later. Oh, we also need to focus on getting more coal that we can have more hives ready for spring. I think we're going to start in level 25 of the mines so we can get more of the maggot dudes and like crank out that bug guts mission. Okay, I can't think of anything else to say, so next question! <laughs> What's one place you've traveled to but you never go want to go back to? Um, let's see. I haven't traveled much because the only chest we've gone on is with my grandma. She's like, not loaded, but she's got like a fat stack, you know, because she invested when she was young. And she had a government job for the longest time. So she got paid fairly well. So like the trips we've gone with her have been to Hawaii, which is where she lives, Oahu. E and, sorry, I say E just by habit. Um... Let's see, we've also gone on one cruise when I was 12, and that was um, to Alaska. And I have really bad memory. So I don't remember a lot from that trip, but I swear, this is gonna sound sad, but like the best part of the trip was like the cruise. Because, like, if anyone's been on a cruise, there's like a section for adults. No, there's like a, like a daycare. For kids, where you can set your kids and the noodles can just like fuck off, right? And do like other shit on the ship. Like, me and my sister were in like the daycare. And it was fun. Because like, all the other kids kind of didn't want to be on the cruise either. And like, we all just became friends and it was fun. I remember I got upset <laughs> because... Um, there was like a scheduled, I guess, tour thing. And it like overlapped with an event at the daycare and the event was making dresses out of toilet paper and i remember i was so upset i was so upset because i missed it and it was like the last day of like daycare program on the ship and i was so sad <laughs> but um yeah i'm not gonna say that was the worst place that so that was the last that was the last trip what sucks is that I know you, like, if you have, like, an iPhone or a Samsung, you can, like, import your files or, like, your photos to your new device, but I don't think I had a phone then, so, like, all the pictures were taken on, like, my mom's cell phone, and I think she had, like, a Samsung Galaxy S, not, like, the first generation Samsung, so we basically lost all the pictures <laughs> um, that she took, rather, but my grandma had, like, like a, a dingy ass. So she's got some pictures saved on her end. And then, let's see. Because the only other places I've really been have been Hawaii to see family. And I did go on to. Went, I did go to the Japan in 2018. And that was for like a mission trip for my grandma's church. Because every fall there's like an annual ceremony. Where everyone goes to like the big church and uh i don't go to church i wasn't raised under a specific faith my parents were just like you know do whatever do your own research we're not gonna force you into anything and i was like cool looking back actually really nice of them to do you know because um, i've heard plenty of stories of people having not so good experiences with their own faith or their church so you know i was lucky good job parents uh anyway so um, it was a mission trip, so like, we were there, it was a two week trip, one week in Hawaii to like get ready for the Japan trip, and then like a week in Japan. And it was nice, we didn't really go to any of the touristy places, because we mainly just stayed with the church, like scheduled events, so like, we had to wake up at 6 every morning, go like pray, and then at 6pm, pray again at like the big church, it was beautiful, that was a lovely area. And that was on my old Samsung phone, so I lost those pictures. <laughs> RIP. Um, I should have used like an actual camera. Anyway, it was a nice trip. It was a really nice trip. But since it was like a family trip, like family trips are cringe. I hate them because like, not that you get to like, <laughs> hot take. 
I don't like how you're like forced to love your family. Cause like when you don't choose them and like it's hard when they like form so much of your own personal ideology or morality. And I don't think you should be committed to anybody just because your blood. Like sometimes your family hurts you and you shouldn't like forgive them automatically for that reason. Anyway, so <laughs> um, the trip was all right, but like a lot of her like family does not get along. So that was definitely like a damper on the trip. But like actual Japan was fun. Because like we stayed in like, it was weird because like it was like a small city, but kind of a big city because that's where the church was, right? So like the rest of the year, the city's like dead, but for that one month, it's like popping off. So it was a really nice trip. And like, you know how like uh, in Japan, the schools, they all have uniforms. I remember we were walking to like a convenience store and it was early in the morning and we saw like a group of preschoolers being like walked by their teacher to the school and they all had like little matching raincoats and rain caps. They were so cute. Oh my God. I would definitely like to go once it's safe. Um, on another trip to Japan, but like with friends this time, because I think that'd be better. Uh, anyway, so that's the places I have gone. Nope! So that's international. Oh, Alaska's not international because I have states, but I have gone on a road trip to Yellowstone. I'm in Washington, so it was like a one or two day drive. It was alright, like, it was bad because, like, we went during like late summer or like very early fall so granted it wasn't winter but like when you camp out it's just so fucking cold um otherwise very beautiful very lovely oh it's four o'clock we gotta go to the night market um let's see how much we got we didn't get many guts we gotta get more we need more guts okay <clears throat> so those are like the three main trips I've gone to, so like Alaska, Yellowstone, and then Japan. Answering the question, <laughs> uh, I'd have to say the worst was the Yellowstone trip, hands down, because we had five people in the car. Granted, our car could fit eight people, so two in the front seat, three in the middle, three in the back, but it sucked because since it was like late summer, early fall, it was still like hot when you're in the car, and like we, we had AC in the car, but my dad was like, no, we don't need it. You know, because dads be like that. Oh, I should eat something because I'm dying. So it sucked. It was hot in the car, and the car was cramped because, like, we had dad and my grandma in the front seats, and my mom, my sister, and I in the back seat. And, like, we're, like, thigh to thigh. Like, your legs are sticky. It's not comfortable. You know? So that wasn't fun. And like, we're not much hikers, so like when we actually got to the park, it was just taking pictures, which I found late. Oh, we got another scorpion. I think the scorpion carps are from Sand Kingdom, I believe. I just don't think I've ever caught one in my other personal space. Um, okay, let's buy a cactus fruit and a coconut because it's gonna be a while till we even get to the desert area. And if we're gonna finish the comp center by end of year two, we need to make sure that's done. Or at least have some in our in our inventory. Let's get to fishing. Hopefully get a few more creepy crawlies, you know. I'm like really talkative today. I don't know why. I have no I think because um his first stream, I'm doing Sturdy Valley on Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday's a toss-up. It depends on if I'm in the mood to sing. And then Thursday, Friday's Odyssey. So Odyssey, um, the con- uh, con- the content. Commentary is a bit different because it does require a bit more concentration. So you can't be just like rambling the whole time because I find that too distracting. So, like on the Odyssey streams, I don't like do like story times as much. Oh, I was not paying attention. Um, like right now in Odyssey, I'm low-key so perturbed because I'm stuck in Darker Side. I, I assume I've gotten maybe halfway through the, the level, 
because I got through the lava bubble area, I got through the stretch dude, I got through the underwater, like frozen water area, and then I I haven't gotten past the part right after the Yoshi bit. And I know a lot of speedrunners on Twitch are doing like any percents. So like I haven't seen anything past in any percent. And I have looked a little bit at the wiki, but that was only to see like the number of actual moons you have to get. I haven't looked up any of like the secret courses or levels. So like I have no idea what I was getting into. And on Friday night I was I was at the point where I was like, I just wanna grind and practice off stream and like see if I can get better at like the first couple sections of that level. Um, but then I thought about it, I was like, you know, what if I'm what if I like actually pop off and like actually beat the stage off stream? That would be so fucking sad. That would be sad. It wouldn't be canon in the Megan universe, you know. So, um, I decided not to look to practice. I decided not to look up like a video on it because I was like, ah, let's not spoil it. But I think it's fun um, to explore on your own, you know. Granted, my memory is horrible, so like, if I watch a video, I'll probably forget what happens. I got an email, yay. Dude, come on. Let's go. I want the blobfish. You the little pink thing? Oh, I don't- I, why am I going for the chest? That was D-U-M. Like, actually D-U-M. D-U-M is another inside joke between a- like a high school friend. It's dumb. <laughs> we would say spell out dumb. D-U-M. A really good joke. I think I yoinked that joke from like his original friend group. <clears throat> Let's go. I'm also low key annoyed because the stream elements timer loop should not have gone off. I think because I've had my like streaming software open for an hour, because they're timed to go every hour and then 45 minutes. So I think that's why they went off earlier. I don't know if it takes into consideration like how long you've had your like stream manager open or like your uptime. I'll have to look into that later. We'll see. We'll see if I remember to troubleshoot that later. <laughs> I also still- I'm transitioning my alerts to stream elements as well, because, you know, stream has got cancelled. <laughs> but, <coughs> um, for some reason my alerts still aren't working properly. And it's annoying. I might- don't leak. I might just use, like, stream elements for, like, the bot, and then use stream as for, like, the visual notification. I might have to do that if I can't figure it out. But you know, that's fine. That's fine. No one will know. So t please don't leak. <laughs> don't cancel me indirectly. Alright, I can just say I have a signed contract with Streamlabs, you know? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not signed with anything, dude. Oh, fuck, it's 1040. I gotta go. Okay, let's go home. <clears throat> Too busy chatting. <sighs> I don't want to go home. Just gonna have free coffee. I never understood the point of getting the coffee until literally 20 minutes ago. Because it's like, why would you take a coffee? It's like, oh, it makes you run faster. Big brain. It didn't click until now. And I've played how many hours of this game? Like, a couple hundred?
Or maybe I should save the coffee for when I go in the mines. Maybe I should do that instead. Because, like, when you're using coffee in the mines, it looks like you're, like, cracked. <laughs> I should do that. Save it for the mines, actually. Okay, we're gonna get these little squiggly dudes in the ground before we head home, because there's a lot of them. Whoa, we got a lot- we got five squids? I wasn't even paying attention to- Oh, I don't have a sand- I didn't have any sandfish? Good thing I bought one, dude. Sad it. <laughs> I think sad it is like my favorite meme phrase like ever. I already have a couple puffer fish. We can sell those then. Okay. I'm gonna move these eggs somewhere else. I really don't need them there. Can't really swap out anything in here yet, so we'll just put eggs. Ah, there's no room here! Oh my god, hoarder brain! We'll just put them here, because <laughs> I don't know where else to put them. Oh, I need to upgrade my house too, I need to... Focus on that too. There's so much I need to do. Oh, this here. I, I I always get so fumbled and mixed up when I like, empty my inventory. Okay, there we go. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need to. Okay, so tomorrow. Or when we wake up, we can see if we can upgrade anything in our on our farm. So let's go ahead. Okay, I think that's all we would need. Because I know you need hardwood to upgrade your house and then stone and wood to upgrade your farm or barn. So whatever we can upgrade, we can upgrade tomorrow. Ooh, up 2k! Let's go! Okay, so Clint wants an iron bar. We don't like Clint, so we're not gonna give it to him. <laughs> Kidding. We love everybody in the town. Even grumpy old Greg, we love him. I was gonna be like, didn't I have like 27k the other day? Or when I, yesterday, but that's because I bought stuff at the market, so I guess that makes sense that I'm down. It's whatever, though. Okay, so let us go ahead. Head to the mines. Go get some lung cancer, dude. Okay, let's get our next question! <laughs> What's your word? Oh, fuck. Self-report. Um... My worst habit. I bite my nails. It's cringe. It's bad. Because when I was working in food, you're not you're not supposed to have long nails because okay, quick demonstration. For any of y'all who don't know how to fucking wash your hands, okay. When you wash your hands, you put soap, scrub, and like lace your fingers together. And like wash the outside too, like this. That way, guarantee there's gonna be scrubbing for 20 seconds, right? 
I remember, like, I was at the... Because the food place I worked at had a sink in the front lobby. So, like, the guy was seeing me do this, like, wash my hands properly, right? And then he's like, hey, why are you washing hands like that? I was like, because we're supposed to. He's like, you just gotta do this. And I'm just like, oh no. It's like, oh no, this guy does not get it. Anyway. That's how you're supposed to wash your hands, okay, y'all? Um... Oh yeah, because like when you wash your hands, you're supposed to like scrub your nails against your palm. That way you can get underneath your nails. Because if you have long nails, you can't really do that. Like you can't scrub the gunk from under your nails because stuff gets in there, right? So you're not supposed to have like acrylics. You're not supposed to have long ass nails for that reason, right? Another reason why like doctors or like nurses should not have long nails either because they can't wash their hands properly. And also you could like potentially scratch your client or your patient client. Ooh. We're just waiting for Robin to open. That's why we're standing out here. You know, we're in line at the Apple store 12 hours before they open to get the new iPhone 20. That's what we're doing. Um. But yeah, so when I was working in food, like, we couldn't have long nails. So, like, it kind of allowed me to justify biting my nails. Which is bad. I know bad. I remember, it's like, it was the thing to, like, Tabasco on your fingers to, like, break the habit. But it never worked. I mean, I hate Tabasco, like, it kind of worked, but, like, it only worked for, like, an hour, because then, like, I'd still have, like, the tick, to, like, want to bite my nails, so it didn't really work. Um, but right now, since I'm not working with food, oh, let's see, what do we want? Uh, let's, oh, let's get the, oh, fuck, let's get the deluxe barn first, because I want to have pigs. Hopefully by the time spring starts so we can start getting the troubles. Um, that's why I'm going with the barn first. And after this we're literally going to have like no money. That was 25k. Look, 300 bucks. Literally my bank account right now. Um, but yeah, so once I stopped working in food service, uh, I like had the chance to like grow up my nails. And they're really long right now. I need to actually trim them. I usually will like paint my nails every week, like every Sunday, but I forgot to yesterday. So, like I actually have the opportunity to grow them out properly now and like have them be cute and stuff. Oh, I don't want to be here. I literally don't want to be here. I clicked the wrong level. So now like I don't bite my nails anymore. Like I still like, like chew them, but I don't like bite them, I guess. So that's cool. I'd have to say that's my worst habit. Another, like, uh, it's not really, it is a habit at this point, but, like, I get really anxious whenever, like, I message people because I get really anxious thinking about, like, what if I didn't, like, answer their message? Or, like, you know how when you, like, accidentally click on the notification and then, like, the alert goes away, so then it turns out you actually open the chat log, but then you didn't read it, so then... It just seems like you left them on red, but you actually kind of didn't because you forgot that you opened the message log. It's like that. So, like, if someone doesn't reply back after, like, 30 minutes, I open the chat log again just to make sure that I, like, replied back, right? And, like, it's bad because I do that with everyone when I shouldn't really because... Like, I have notifications on almost everything. For some reason, my TikTok notifications don't work. Like... I don't understand why they don't ping me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the issue is. Like, on all my accounts, I just have two accounts on both my TikTok accounts. Like, notifications don't work at all for either, so I don't know what the issue is. So, like, just constantly throughout the day, like, I'll be reopening chat logs to see, like, if I message people back when, like, I know I did. Um, that's another habit. I don't think of anything else. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the Guts mission in time. Let's actually see how much we have for the week. We probably have like 30. Yeah, <laughs> literally 31. I was on point. Right we might be able to finish it by the end of the week. It's just I'm focusing way too much on what you call it. Just getting cold. Which is fine. We can always do that weekly mission again.
Cause like the best way to get the guts is if you go for the levels with the maggots in it. Okay, it's 12.50, we've got a couple more hours until the market opens. Oh yes, this is exactly what we want. We want an infestation so we can get more guts. Another habit I have is um, taking on too many projects because I feel like I can handle stuff, but when it actually, like, I can't, like, I'm definitely, like, a yes man. Like, I'm very easy. I'm very much a pushover. Like, I'm getting better about it, you know. Learning how to say no is difficult, but we're getting there. I wouldn't say that's a habit, per se, but that's more of, like... A flaw in my personality. Because <laughs> to me, habits are more like ticks or like demeanors, I guess. I'm not saying that nail biting is a tick, but it's more of like a stim, I guess, for me. See, it's 2.50. Probably time for one more level. Okay, let's do another question! What have you created that you are most proud of? Ooh. That's a hard thing to ask an artsy person. That is a very difficult question. Oh. I am thinking very hard right now. This is gonna take me a minute. Put a bookmark in it. I was gonna say that rhymed, but those phrases both literally ended in it, so that's technically not a real rhyme. But let's think about recent stuff. Let's think about recent projects. Um, I'm really happy with... I think I have good graphic sense. I think I have a good sense of design. It's just actually rendering stuff I have difficulty. Like, if I'm given like an abstract project or like alignment or placement, I think I'm really good at that. Considering like typography or like formatting posters and stuff, I think I'm good at that. And with that in mind, I what I'm really happy with right now is as I said before, the past basically month I've been working on like Oh, night market is open. Let's get out of here. I'm really, or I'm working on like polymer clear earrings. I'm show and tell time, show and tell time. I'm actually wearing a new pair today. This one. Oops, sorry. This is from the botch batch where I fucked it up. But it's two pieces. It has a chain in the middle. to kind of connect them. I think they're pretty fun. Because I accidentally broke <laughs> the other pair that I wore in string before because since it's polymer clay, they're kind of bendy. And um, since I don't have piercings, I have magnetic um, fasteners. And what happened was, is I put my metal tray on top of my desk and I forgot that I left my earrings on my desk. And I went back the other day and I saw that I bent them. And polymer clay, once you... Um, cure it properly. Curing means baking in that sense for context. Um, when you cure or bake polymer clay, because polymer clay is primarily plastic, that's what it is. But it, because like it's malleable, but once it's cured, it becomes like plastic, right? And if it's cured properly, it's kind of bendy. Like it's not brittle. It's kind of the best way I can equate it to is like, you know, how in school, when you're buying school shit and you look at the school section at Walmart and then they have like bendy rulers and you tell your mom, I want that bendy ruler. And she says, no, <laughs> properly cured clay should be as bendy as a bendy ruler. <laughs> um, so I put my earrings on top of it and the magnet clung to the tray, but I didn't know about it. So it had bent and snapped. 
or it didn't snap snap because with my polymer clay, I ha I this, it's a painting pattern on here. Oh no, I'm broke bitch. I can't fish. This is <laughs> this fucking sucks. Oh my god, that's. I didn't even get a blobfish. This sucks, dude. Whatever, I'm going home. <laughs> Let's actually fish while we're here, see if we can fish at all. Um, anyway. So I broke my other pair, which is sad. Oh, why'd they break? Um, mm -hmm. Hi, Rainy! Thank you for coming in. Hope you're doing well today. I'm gonna say, I'm here for a bit. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you coming in. Oh, d I'm so stupid. Mm -hmm. I accidentally pressed. <sighs> I'm gonna be sluggish tomorrow. I'm gonna have so much, or like no energy. Rip. This is upsetting. Let's actually get that coffee. That way we don't sluggishly walk home. I have to go help my dad for a bit, but I'm gonna look until I come back. I have to open up the basement where you are. Yeah, no problem. You gotta do your family deeds and help around the house, you know? I felt so bad last night because I just had- this is at like 8pm. I had like a sudden wave of like nausea and like extreme fatigue. Um. And we were supposed to, like, get cookies ready, like, because we bake cookies and send them to the family every holiday. But, like, I went into the kitchen and I helped my mom, like, pick up her KitchenAid mixer from, like, the lower shelf and put it onto the table. And, like, I couldn't do it. It was bad. So I was like, hey, mom, I, re I really can't do this right now. I feel like I'm going to pass out. And she's like, okay. And they were, like, up until 10 working on the cookie dough and I felt so bad. But, like, I physically, like, couldn't lift up my arms. Like, I don't know what's wrong. I probably gotta go get a checkup or something. Oh. Anyway. So. Yeah. Because, like, I try and help when I can, but sometimes it's like, I don't feel like helping. I don't know. It feels bad to think that way, but sometimes it's too much. Where did I put my eggs? I put them in here. Oh my god, run, fox. I think I got that already. Oh, we. Who are we going for this save? We're going for Leia. Yeah, we're going for Leia. I forgot. Because on my other save, I'm going for Haley. But we're not going to start gifting until year two. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ooh, we might have just enough time to get enough bug meat. Get six more eggs. Definitely will have enough time to get enough eggs. Yeah, anyway, so like the polymer clay earrings, too many tangents, I'm sorry. Like I coat them with paint and then a layer of clear varnish. That way, because resin, I'm indifferent about using resin. I've never, oh, what did that say? Oh, give them birthday presents, easy, easy clap. Um. Okay, so winter fat, oh, oops. Oh no, I clicked through it. I clicked through it. Okay, let's check. Someone told me last time I played that there's a way to see your mail. You just have to go to this section, click letters. And it never occurred to me that it was there. Oh, Haley. Okay, she likes she likes diamonds. So we're going to give her a diamond. We're going to give her a fat stone. I, I really want to keep things PG-13, but you know... 
<laughs> jokes, jokes. Okay, so I cover my <laughs> um, earrings with a layer of varnish. Because resin, there's two types. There's UV resin, which, you know, UV is toxic, so we ain't doing that shit. And then there's poxy, or poxy, poxy. Which, um, how that activates is... You have to mix and activate the two chemicals together, and there's like a limited window in which you can... It's workable or malleable. So, margin of error is very high with that stuff type of resin so I'm like I don't want to fuck with that until I like know what I'm doing I don't want to waste product until like I know what I'm doing it's like learning how to properly like roll and like use your clay it took a bit for me too because I'm very much a perfectionist like I remember seeing one like online shop and the girl was like you know there's gonna be some imperfections like it's, I'm not a machine but it's like dude you should like still drive to make a good product you know like, I will not accept a single nick, a single thumbprint on my work, you know? I'm that level. Like, I don't want any, anything wrong with it. Um, so I cover them with... <laughs> How long have we been talking about this fucking earring thing? What, 10 minutes? Um, I cover them with a layer of varnish. And I kind of pull it on that way it still has like a bubble look almost. It, you can't tell from far away, but like when you're looking at it and having your hands, you can definitely tell. Um. So like when I broke my earring, <laughs> it still was kind of connected because like the clay had snapped, but then like the varnish didn't fully snap. Weird. So I think what I'm most proud of is not the polymer clay stuff, actually. Because that's just the current project. <laughs> I think what I'm really happy with right now, what I'm working on, is just stencil making. I really like abstract patterns. I really like making tiles. Um, a tile is the type of pattern where you're just repeating and translating or rotating an image to make a repeated pattern. Kind of like, you know, like chevron prints. Or like, for example, a checkerboard is just repeating and translating. Um, translating is like moving. Like, up or down. You're just translating alternating black and white squares to make a checkerboard thing, right? So that'd be like, I would guess, or I would say the simplest example of a tile pattern. So I've just been uh, fiddling around with that, trying out different patterns, making stencils, which we, my mom and I bought a Cricut last year, and it's actually pretty pog, it's actually really cool. I have a couple stencils I posted on my IG stories and then Twitter, I believe. Check it out. Exclamation point socials in the chat. It's so cringe telling people to like, like and follow, you know? But it's kind of necessary because if there's a call to action, statistically people will follow through with that action that you're telling them to. On that, on that subject, we're actually... We are actually an hour into today's stream. So if you're new here and like what you see, drop a follow. You know, it helps me out. If you are a returning viewer and you're lurking, I appreciate you. Lurkers make the stream. Makes me feel like I'm totally not alone in this world. So thank you. <laughs> I also have uh, the command exclamation lurk. So if you haven't already, you can press that. Though I know you're here, you know. Because it's, it's nice to know who's in chat, especially when you're still small, which I am very small. I have no influence at all. Um, to know who's around, you know. That way I know who I can give clout to when I pop off, you know. You can be like, I was there. I think the project that I'm most proud of at the moment is my stencils because I found this really nice film for plastic sheets online that don't get caught at all and cut pretty cleanly. I don't have to worry about my stencils tearing. I would also like to learn how to make silk screens because with silk screens 
can have a lot more precise detail than you could with like something cut with a cricket. So I would like to look into that in the future. That way I can make like really dope ass stencils with like really intricate like natural details like leaves. A really hard stencil to make is palm leaves because there's so many overlapping and intersecting sections where it's very difficult to get a very clean image or cut. So a silk, a silk screen stencil allows for a lot more detail. So they would be a lot better if you're doing foliage type stencils. <sighs> I think another project that I'm fairly proud of right now is just the creation of the clips accounts. Exclamation clips in chat. <laughs> I'm gonna- <laughs> I know I just said it's cringe, but I think it's fun to call them out. It makes me feel like an actual creator. Because um, we initially, initially did them on Premiere. Wait, no. Sony Vegas. Rip. I switched them. And then, but it was on my sister's, which is actually my laptop that I'm loaning her, but she insists that it's hers now. But it's an old laptop. It doesn't render very well. Like, a one minute video, it took... Uh, like an hour to render one time and then when it did render it rendered improperly like it had black bars going through it it was bad so we have tradition transitions using adobe premiere on my alienware which is pretty nice to process i know it's a gaming laptop but like processing wise and rendering she's actually really good at it, so i've transferred all my school files onto my alienware just so i can have better processing time it's working out fairly well um, so we both learned the basics of Premiere because right now we're just focusing on like getting at least two videos out a week because that way I can have something uploaded on days where I don't stream so i.e. Saturday and Sunday and I'm honestly really proud of it because it's really funny because my sister and I came to an agreement to where I will back pay her to when I finally get some type of monetization for any video she's made. So I'm paying her $30 a video, which is actually a really good rate. So she can totally fuck off when she asked if he paid more. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. If I ever make bank, I will definitely pay my creators well. Um, but we spend maybe 30 minutes to an hour on a video because it's just basic cropping trimming. Nothing too difficult. Um, we're learning how to do like effects, so like zooms, that type of thing. But we don't want to do anything too ambitious, ambitious because I think the best performing video I had was the Bowser one, which was the first one that I posted on TikTok, and it low key popped off. Like it got a thousand views in about a day and a half for a first upload. I mean that's insane. I don't think too much about numbers, but. You know, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. I had no... I did not anticipate that many views. Um, I think because that specific video had a lot more edits in it, in terms of, like, zooms. Um, I personally really like boss fights because it's not just, like, a clip. It's more gameplay focused, so that could be why it also performed well. I don't know why that one popped off, but... I think... I said this last time I talked about it, but I don't want to focus too much on numbers because I'm going to definitely be discouraged if like stuff doesn't get as many views as certain videos do, which is fine. I need to understand that and not get too discouraged, but, but that was that Bowser video we did on Vegas, so we understood like how to do zoom in and that type of thing, but we're still learning how to do it on Premiere, so hopefully future videos will have more small edits in it. Yeah. So she's gonna get back paid whenever I have like the means to make a payroll system. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're not doing it just for funsy, she's doing it for the bag. And it's funny, as I was gonna say, because we've made an agreement, like two videos a week, basically two hours a week, and I will sit down with her and like help her edit that way. Um 
we both learn what we are looking for in terms of a final edit and trimming. That way, hopefully at some point, you will have a good understanding of what I want for a final edit. And that way I can just give her a raw file, just basically trim segments and she can cut stuff down and add basic edits, that type of thing. That's the goal. But every time we've had to sit down and work on it, she's just been such a basic like, little bitch. She's like, I don't want to do this. This is boring. I don't like it. So I'm like, okay. But you know, you're getting back paid for this. And also, you said you wanted to practice editing. So you can just shut the fuck up and do it, right? And then she, she finally does it, right? And then once we're like getting into it, like trimming and finding good moments to like trim down, she, she enjoys it. She, she likes it. <laughs> um, but it's funny because I think um, with editing, it's really fun finding like the perfect moment or like cutting at the right time. It's so satisfying. Like a really good moment from I think the most recent video that was posted on TikTok and YouTube was the part where, because it's, it's the bunny chain chomp fight, I think it was called. Um, or that was what the raw photo was called. It was a part where I'm just fighting it, and then it's just like a half second cut to where like I get hit and I say fuck, and it's, it's the funniest shit to me. Because it kind of like interjects itself in the middle of it, and it's really good. Let's get out of here. It's a 940. So we really like the clips project that we're working on. Because as as I have said before, the goal is to hopefully get some people from other platforms into stream. And also just to learn how to edit and like learn how to streamline things. Because, like, the process is fairly easy, you just have to, like, the process we have right now is importing two of the same video files, cropping one to be face cam and cropping the other to be gameplay, and then translating or moving the image to, like, the proper spot. Um, is actually fairly streamlined, because the thing that takes the longest is trimming. Like, l learning what to keep and what not to keep. Because... Most cases we're trimming down a 10 minute clip to a 1 minute segment. So. I think that is another thing that I'm very proud of right now. Okay, let's see if we can sell any gemstones. We can sell a few. Not many though. We haven't gotten many. Okay, that's all we can sell. Yeah, so things I'm proud of is the stencils I'm making and then the clips accounts, the clip channels. Oh frick, it's already Thursday? Fuck, man. Okay, so we need 37 more bugs. We should hopefully get enough. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was weird. My screen glitched out. We're still alive. We're good. That happens sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Two more eggs. Then we're done for the week.
There's a train. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but there's a train. <laughs> oh, okay, so we can't upgrade our coop today because the barn is fully upgraded. That's pretty cool. don't have enough money. Fuck. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, it's whatever. It's fine. Gotta focus on mining then. Okay, let's get another question. Your vegetable, what vegetable would you be? I have jokes. I have one. I have two jokes. Let me workshop them in my head a little bit. That's what I need to work on. I need to like work on just committing to a bit. Like, just go for it. I need to, like, just do it. Okay, I I will give you my two. One, tomato. Technically a fruit. Okay, I have another joke for tomato. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, let's start from the top. Start from the top. I would say tomato. Because, one, they are short, round, and fat, you know, just like me. And also, so you can really fruit, you know, so you can really kind of fruity. Wink, wink. A little bit gay, a little bit straight, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that could have been better. I feel like, I have bits, I have jokes. It's just like delivery I need to work on. And then the second one was going to be um, artichoke. Because I appear to be prickly on the outside. But once you get to my hearts, I'm so sweet. Yeah, that's the second one. That's that's what I got. But let's be honest, that was a dumb question. Yeah, let's choose another question, because that one is like D-U-M. Who was your favorite teacher and why? We're not gonna name names because we don't want to dox anybody. Um, I would have to say my favorite teachers would have to be- I have four that stood out to me. Um, two of which were my art teachers, one in junior high and the other high school. Because both teachers, um, they were definitely like firmer with the normies, <laughs> the people who weren't artsy. But with the people who had like potential to like create good stuff, they would just let do whatever. They're like, oh, you have this assignment, but you know, here's the parameters, just make whatever you want as long as it fits the requirements of the assignment. So, like, for example, if you had to do a charcoal portrait, you'd be like, oh, you don't have to do a portrait, just like make sure you do like a really nice render with charcoal and demonstrate like proper like highlights, value, shading, that type of thing. And be like, okay, cool. Like, it, once you have that liberty, you can do whatever you want and, like, make good shit. And both my junior high and high school teachers had that, I guess, mentality or approach to teaching art. And it was nice. Like, for my sister, she was really good with ceramics and stuff, so... A really cool render she made, because the assignment was to make something with movable parts. Like, she made a bike, 
and it's it's a really cool bike. I wish I had pictures, but she literally did not let me see it until last year. <laughs> she's very secretive with it. Uh um. And it was like a fully workable ceramic mini bike. And it was crazy. And it took her <laughs> six months to make it. Granted, when you're in school, you only have like maybe four to five hours of class time for every class. Four times four, sixteen times six. It's about eighty hours of work for that one project. It was a really nice final one. Um, and that my two other favorite teachers had to be my AP English for senior year, and then AP US History teacher in. I think um, because I was never, I was always in honors classes because. Not that I was like a Berniac, but like I had a bit more understanding of things than like a regular classroom would, I guess. And in like AP classes, they teach you how to like analyze properly in terms of like looking for connections between all your classes. So like in AP Lit, they teach you like different lit devices, of course, and then um how to connect whatever you see in scripture into like real life, that type of thing. And my senior English teacher was like the sweetest lady. She was so sweet. Just nice to everyone. And she put a lot of effort into all her lesson plans. And she put... She took everyone's like opinions into consideration and that was really nice to see. Because I've never really had a class in English, primarily, that was like pertained around discussion. Not that I participated in the discussions because I was like way too shy and anxious to, but it was still nice to see that in some contexts your voice is being heard and your opinions are valid. Okay, I gotta find the letter because I forgot where it opened up. And then my AP APUSH teacher, 11th grade, um, it was their first year teaching at that school actually first year teaching our paint. Ooh, yes, this is what we want. We want bugs. And because that was my first year of an AP class. Because in our district, you are not granted there are exceptions if you're gifted. Like gifted, gifted. You cannot take an AP class until eleventh grade. So that was my first time ever in an AP class. And as I said before, AP is a college prep. So they teach you how to like analyze properly, take notes, that type of shit. But seeing how much history impacts modern society and modern politics is really interesting. That class helped me understand why things are the way they are today, you know? And this specific teacher is very personable with everybody. And made everyone feel welcome in their classroom. I think that teacher left the most impact on me. Yeah, so those are my favorite teachers. So I was informed there is a way to open it. Yeah, we did it. Okay, we just can't have a tool or weapon in hand to open those. Let's see, it's 540. We probably have enough time to do one or two more levels in the mine. Actually see how much bug meat we have. Did I get stuck behind a wall? Only 30 more, so we for sure can finish this by Sunday. Hopefully. Let's pick another question. Ooh, what was the best compliment you've ever received? Hmm. Yeah, I think on that one.
I can definitely think of the worst compliment I've received. <laughs> I think that does bring up a good point because you're so much more inclined to remember negative comments or negative statements about you because it's kind of related to like the fight or flight instinct, you know? Oh, the best compliment. I re okay, I can't think of one specific instance, but I really appreciate when someone comments about something specific about your work or like your art because when someone just says, oh, it's cool, well, oh, that's nice. It's like, well, what do you like about it? Like, do you like the colors I use? Do you like the specific line or shape I created? Like, what makes it good to you? So I really like comments or statements where... They point out a specific aspect of the work that they like. I'm trying not to think of like compliments that relate to like my physical self. Because I feel like a lot of those are disingenuous. Like, I know, like, saying someone is like cute or pretty is being nice, but are they really being truthful? I don't know. I think one that I guess affected me the most was because, like, I didn't have a relationship until I was 19. Like, I didn't date in high school. That's cringe. So cringe. Um, but in my first relationship, being, I guess, validated that, like, I was cute or, like, I was attractive was really nice. But I've gone so long into thinking I was, like, ugly and shit. And at this point, like, I think I'm cute. I think I'm cute, but, like, I don't think I'm pretty. You know what I mean? There's so much, like, a, a heavy connotation to the word pretty or, like, beautiful, and it's like, I'm not that. But just being validated to know that someone thinks you're cute or someone thinks you're, like, attractive is nice. It's a nice feeling. Oh, that bunny scared me. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some fruit from here. Oh, look at all that fruit. Oh, my inventory is full, Sag. Oh, the fruit goes in the fruit bin. Oops. Okay, got our eggs ready to deliver for tomorrow. Let's see how many bug guts we have. Ooh. Let's actually bring those along too, because we might have enough. Or we should be able to get enough by the end of the day tomorrow to drop them off.
Let's go. Ooh. What's that? I I freaking love. Uh, I know Minskiff is oh 14k. That's a lot. I know Minskiff is kind of cringe, but like his Twitch notifications are like so good. <laughs> So baity. Oh, okay, we're up. Oh, that's what that means. Okay. Yeah, this should be the egg mission. There we go. We got a large white egg. I've never gotten one because I've never had a white egg. There we go, got enough eggs. Okay, so today we're gonna focus on getting enough bug meat. That way we can drop it off when we go drop off the eggs. That's our goal today. Hopefully we'll get enough guts in time. Tab it, we literally just answered that. Favorite book? I don't read books. <laughs> um, what are you interested in that most people haven't heard of? Um, Twitch culture, let's go. What languages do you speak? Um, English, Abi. Abi. And then I took AP Spanish in school. Granted, I don't know. Um, like colloquial stuff or like slang so like if someone from like south america talked to me i would not be able to like, i could probably understand basic stuff but like a lot of the nomenclatures i wouldn't be able to understand i did get a four on my ap spanish exam if that counts i guess i know the language if i pass It's cool because like I still have my Spanish notes on like the USB drive because I type them all up so that they're like nice and readable. So I basically have like a mini Spanish textbook on my USB. So, like if I ever want to like brush up on it, I can just open up that file and then learn from there. Next question. Pancakes or waffles? Oh no. How about neither? Yeah, pancakes and waffles are low-key overrated. They're a bit, like, too filling. I'd rather have, like, hash brown. What is one of the great values that guides your life? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, let's see. I'm not religious, so I'm not guided by any faith. But I think... A good morale thing that I try and live by is be empathetic and compassionate and try and gain perspective. Because you don't know what other people are going through. There is like a time and place for jokes and stuff, but still try and be considerate on other people's views and opinions. Because maybe if you're like thinking about starting an argument or like starting a Twitter thread, maybe you'd be like, hey, it's probably a reason why that person is thinking that way, so let's try and analyze and figure out why they think that way they do. Maybe it's how they were brought up, maybe it's their own personal rights, or like what they feel is right or wrong. Like Maybe it was their upbringing, maybe they had a traumatic event that shapes that opinion. Don't be too combative from the start, I guess.
because a lot of naivety comes from lack of perspective. And it's very easy to like attack people for being naive, but a lot of the times they might know but they might not know better. See how many guts we have. Ooh, only nine more. Let's go. Okay, let's do another question. We're skipping that one. <laughs> I don't want to talk about friends because I don't want to make anyone feel bad. Um, we literally just answered that. Ooh, okay. What well, bends your mind every time you think about it? I think the cliche meme debate is is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> or like is cereal a soup? Lol. Um Those are like the cliche ones that come to mind. But that all comes down to like just colloquial like what people call things locally, I guess. And also like the literal definition of stuff. But what bends your mind every time you think? I think tying back into the previous question, it's also like if you are given perspective and like explained why people think the way they do. Not to say that there's a right opinion to everything, but also like if you understand that something is like traumatic for someone, something is like really impacting someone emotionally, like why are you still pressing on it just so you can win an argument? That like irks me. Because like there's some things that I'm very, I have a very firm stance on, granted, but like there are some issues to where like I don't understand how people think that way. And primarily they're related to like human rights issues, those type of things. And like, just like <laughs> a couple of hot topics right now that would relate to it. Um, in terms of like of people being killed. Um, a lot of those issues lose um, I'm talking about gun control, that type of shit. Well, like, yes, you have rights, but also, like, if you are willing to kill someone just because you have the right to, like, should you really be open to the idea of killing someone? I don't understand that. Like, my brain cannot understand it. Like, at that point, you're, like, taking a life and can you really live with that are you going to be able to live with any public shaming are you going to be li able to live with like the people the person's family that you took someone away from how are you willing to defend that argument if you yourself can't see yourself in those shoes like why should anybody be able to do that whether you are of higher stature Concerning like law enforcement, like why should anyone be able to kill someone? I don't understand. And me myself not having lost someone to those circumstances, I cannot imagine what it'd be like to have to live through them. Like I have a really good take about the um Rain House Court case. I have a really good take. But I don't want to leak it because I don't want to get any like hate online because at that point you're just inserting yourself into like people wanting to make a twitter thread and it's like I don't want that type of clout you know but I have an incredible team Because it's easy to see things from an outside lens, but like once you're living through it, 
Like, are you really gonna defend someone if you're hurting someone you care about, you know? Anyway, that's, that's another take for another day. Next question! What's your earliest memory? Break. It. As I said before, my memory is not good. I honestly probably have a lot of repressed shit. So. <laughs> um, a lot of my memories I don't see from like my POV, I guess. So like, I will see it from like a third person point of view rather than from like my own eyes. I think is the best way to put it. But I think the earliest memory I have is from like when I was in sixth grade. And it's a memory to where like I'm having deja vu and I'm just like laying with my head down in the classroom and I'm looking at the blinds of the windows. And then I remember like jolting up and be like, hey, this is deja vu, I remember this. And that's sixth grade, so I'm just like like I don't remember anything prior to that, like, I know of stuff happening, but I have no, like, cognizant memory of it. Weird. Do we really- we literally just need one more piece of bug meat. We literally just need one. Come on, I just need- I just need one more- Dude, come on. Bullshit. This is bullshit. Oh, come on. Thank god. Now we can go deliver stuff. Hopefully the restaurant will still be open by the time we get there. Let's go deliver our eggs, then we can go deliver our guts. Oh, the sound of the ocean scared me. I thought it was a car. Oh my god. Let's go. Ooh, 3k. Another 3k. We should have enough to upgrade our barn, hopefully. Or our coop, rather, sorry. Oh, my knees are really sore. <laughs> I didn't go for a bike ride this morning because, like I said earlier last night, I was really fatigued. When I woke up, like, my knees are still, like, kind of, or sore, rather. I didn't go for a bike ride this morning.
Oh, I thought I had glue on my finger. I think it's dumb how I can't sell the rings. It's so dumb. I mean, you can sell them at Guy's place, I guess. But then I gotta carry them all the way there. Hmm. I can't really toss anything. Let's actually just throw the ring away. Just throw it away. Pretend it's our fiance's ring. Then we found out we cheated on him. Or <laughs> not, we did it. <laughs> he cheated on us. So we can throw it away. <laughs> um, let's see, which is the better option? More Geos or more Gen? I honestly want to go with Excavator because late game, you're going to need more items for your museum. So, I think getting more Geos would be better. Mm. The money is not as important end game. Let's be honest. Okay. Last day of the week. Pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie, man. Ooh, a fridge. She wants some hardwood, okay. Have to put it inside? That's dumb, even though that makes sense, but you know, that's DUM. Okay, we do not have a lot of wood. Okay, so we're gonna need to go to the forest and chop some wood. Or see if there's any wood in the forest, rather. So we can go deliver that hardwood to Robin for that mission and then focus on chopping trees the rest of the day. And then see if we can either upgrade our house or our coop while we're there. I'm just glad we got our weekly and then two weekly mission done. Really good. So let's go see if we can upgrade and get some more wood. Let's get another question queued up. Have you ever saved someone? Well, no. Ooh. Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or a broken elevator? Okay, stuck on. I thought it was stuck in and I got actually legit scared because like getting the thought of like getting stuck in an escalator. Or it's an elevator. Ooh. Both kind of suck. Um. I think I'd rather be in an elevator because you're more than likely going to have, like, access to, like, law, not law enforcement, but, like, emergency services because 
If you're in an elevator, you're more likely going to be in a city area, right? So... Emergency services hopefully will arrive quicker than a ski lift, because a ski lift is probably going to be in a more remote area than a... Like where an elevator would be, you know? And also, in a ski lift, you're probably going to be in a cold area, so being stuck for like potentially hours in the cold, that sucks. Versus in an elevator, the worst that could happen is just go down, right? But you just gotta jump right before it crashes, then you're saved, right? I've never been skiing, so like I don't know what it's like, but it seems scary. Because <laughs> I, I assume you have to be really good at like controlling the way you're going in terms of direction. So I'm just scared of that, I guess. Because like if I can't even drive, how do I expect myself to manipulate the direction I'm going? You know? I forgot this was here. Lol. Okay, let's go ahead and check on this. Because I don't know if any trees grew at this point. Let's get another question. What's the story behind one of your scars? Okay, let's scar time. <laughs> okay, go to center cam for this. So I have I don't know if it'll show up in cam. Look, is it gone? I think it's actually gone. Or it's a, it's a little bit there. You will for sure not be able to see it, but like right here. I had an exclamation point shaped burn mark. Story time. A little story behind that. I'm actually surprised that it's gone. Like, it's like I haven't looked at it. You can still see, because you know when you like, you have a burn, you can see where like the skin fibers are trying to come back together. It's like, it's not as noticeable, but it's still kind of there. You have to get like really close to see it. Um. But we were making cupcakes. This happened when I was like 11 or 10. And I put them on the top rack. Which is bad. And when I grabbed it, I like grabbed the tray like this for some reason. And then like I tilted my arm up because like that's the way my wrist bent. And because of that, my, my wrist clipped the top of the oven. So I got burned in a sock. And yeah, that's the story behind my scar. I don't really have anything else. Like everything else is um just like beauty marks. I know I have acne scars for sure. But that that's not cool, you know. That's not as fun of a story as like getting a battle scar, right? I don't think there's going to be any wood trees, because trees do not grow, or don't grow nearly as fast during winter. Which is kind of D.U.M. Let's be honest. Let's do another question! Mountains or ocean? Let's see, I would have to go ocean. 
because mountains, there's snow, and like, avalanche, you're gonna die. But granted, ocean, there could be tsunami, so you could also die. But I think with the mountains, there's a lot more, I guess, less predictable things that could happen, like, i.e. avalanche, landslide, snowstorm. Like, if you're stuck at the mountain, you're more likely to have something, like, worse happen. But ocean, you can hang out and chill there. It's probably always going to be somewhere near because oceans are a hot spot. You know, it's attractions. People love the ocean. In mountains, you got to hike up them. And I ain't athletic. I ain't going to spend two hours with no hike. No shot. There's like no wood. Like literally no wood. This sucks. I should have planted those trees before winter. This is horrid. Okay, let's just focus on some fishing for now. Let's actually see if Marnie's here. Oh, she is. Let's go ahead and buy one duck with that started because we've already upgraded our coop. Mitch Lee. <laughs> okay. Um, because the only thing I really need to upgrade right now is our house, but that can wait for now. Because I kind of want to get the farm animals started. Yeah, so I think the rest of the season we're just going to focus on fishing. We need to just focus on getting money now. Perfecto! Okay, let's get another question. What was your best birthday? I think I can't pinpoint a specific birthday. I did not have a sweet 16 because you have to have friends to do that. So I didn't have that. Also, my 21st birthday was mid 2020. So we didn't get to go out and get slammed. So. I didn't have any of like the stereotypical hip hip hooray birthday parties. I would have to say like some of the best birthday parties I've had had to be when I was younger. Because my mom, she's very crafty, very artsy. So she spent a lot of time planning like themed parties. Like when I was four, I had a pirates party because I really liked the movie Treasure Planet. And then I had a minute to win it party because that whole party was centered around like mini games, like challenge, time challenge games, and that was really fun. Um, I think I know for like pre four, so like one, two, three, my mom made like Barbie cakes for all those birthdays. I think I had one year like a crafting party, so we all made like bracelets and jewelries and stuff. I'd have to say like any birthday pre age 10 was pretty pog, it was pretty cool. Cause like, I'm 22, like there's nothing after that, nothing cool. Like, oh, you can rent a car at 25, whoa. But like after 21, you're basically birthday parties are dead. Let's get another question. Um, well, I, I said Twitch earlier, huh? Okay, when people come to you for help, what do they usually want help with? Hmm. Let's see. 
Well, when I was working, it'd be like, how do you do this on the computer? Like, how do you bring this up on the POS? But now, I would have to say... Not necessarily advice, but I guess people would come to me to, like, open up about stuff. It's like, I always tell my friends, like, you can always call me, call me, whatever. I'd rather you have, like, someone to bounce off of rather than you feeling like you're alone. You know what I mean? Like, I would have to say, as of right now, just having, like, I guess comfort I can help with. <laughs> Or like if they need help with a joke, because you know I'm funny. <laughs> I think, okay, I know it's cringe to be have like the ego personality, but I think it's the funniest thing. And to me, it's extra funny for like my character or like on-screen character because I am like so quiet, very like keep to myself IRL, but I like the shtick mm -hmm. of me being like this super like ego person. I think that's the funniest thing. Like my sister and I were editing the chain chomp video and there's a part where I'm like dodging the chain chomp mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, I think I found a strat, the Megan strat. Mm -hmm. And my sister was watching it and she was like, you know, this seems fake. He's like, that's not like how you are. I'm like, yeah, that's the bit. That's the point. You're... It's like, I want to be the new Ludwig, you know? I want to be charismatic. Even if it is fake, I want that to be me. You know what I mean? Like, Ludwig is gone. We need someone to fill his place, right? <laughs> oh, I didn't get the chest, Saj. Ooh, I just realized that some of the stuff we need to craft need wood. Like, I think the beehives need wood, too. Oh, this sucks, dude. Ooh, this probably be a link Dodge. Yo, those stream element timers are not working. <laughs> totally off, man. I'll have to troubleshoot those later. On that topic, I think, like, when you're talking or giving a presentation and you fumble, like, just keep going. Like, if you go, like, and today the problem is blah, blah. Um, and if you, like, make that noise, it's obvious that you, like, fucked up, right? So, like, if you just, like, pause and keep going, then you're good. Like, the way I'm trying to see it is, like, if you're, like, saying something, imagine you're just, like, making a cut in between. Like, you don't have to add, like, a block sound. Like, it just makes it more noticeable. And also, it just makes you seem less confident. Like, if you fumble your words, just, like, keep going. Or like for example, like today the weather is rainy. Um, like I'm trying to like purposely mess up so I can make an example, but it's hard. It's difficult. It's difficile. Or like if you like fumble a word halfway, just re-say the word and keep going. Like don't don't get hung up too much if you fumble your words. I know that's easy to say and harder to execute, but just try, you know. I missed the chest again, Sag. Okay, it's 9.30, let's go home. It really sucks that we cannot get more wood right now. This is not good. No bueno. Que mala. Eh. Do we really need this many tappers? Do we really need it? Desperate chimes call for desperate measures, you know? Ooh, 
some stuff is ready. Oh, my inventory's full. I was like, why am I picking those up? Yeah, we have lots of pine syrup, you know. Don't really need more. I have one of those already so I can sell that bone. Is this already? No, I can do any of this when I go to the museum next. Let's see what fish we can keep and which to sell. Got two link curds. Got two pikes. Got two trouts. Got two perches. Yeah, cool, we can sell the rest. Um. Oh, it's algae. Okay. Let's see if we can craft anything. Uh, yeah, we need wood. That's unfortunate. Oh, we can only make two. That is not good. That is D U M. Oh, I needed a maple syrup, huh? Okay, we have a lot of pine tar, let's be honest. Let's go ahead and chop those trees down. Let's do some deforestation. I think the coolest thing about going to Eastern Washington was seeing all the different like foliage, all the different trees. Especially since we went like last week during like fall into winter, there was so much like variety, in, like the colors and landscapes you saw between like the evergreen trees and then trees that <laughs> changed color. I forgot what they're called, but it was so pretty. Like, low-key, the drive there was way prettier than the actual, like, property. Get more pine jars. We can make more hops. There we go. Ooh, will we have enough time? Okay, let's go, let's go. Quick! Saved, saved. We're not gonna collapse in our farm. Whew. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we can get probably some more animals tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. Or actually, it will be tomorrow because it is the end. Of today's stream we have another week of stardew valley done okay so yeah that'll be all for today thank you to anyone who came in we had um i'm gonna flip my phone over uh, 
we had Bra Fairy show up and lurk. We had Rainy show up and lurk. I appreciate you both. Love my lurkers, you know. Um, I think the concept of having like the question really helped me in terms of like just getting used to just like chatting more, that type of thing. So I definitely kind of think I'm gonna implement that more into more chill streams, I guess, just to get me used to talking. So. I will be back again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST with more Stardew. Going into our final week of winter and getting ready, finally, for spring, year two. So, yeah, see everyone tomorrow. Okay, bye.